Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping with a few thoughts on uh, if you could only bring three things into the woods. Let's just say that uh, that's all you could grab. Three things. You couldn't grab a backpack and uh, couldn't grab a container full of anything. It had to be three individual items. What would it be? Uh, it's not like a really hard question, but I had to think about it for about an hour to really make sure that I was okay with what I was deciding. And uh, what I concluded was that the five seeds of survival is pretty important. Uh, I mean, it's, that's why people use it, obviously. But to take the five seeds of survival, or anything that's like that, and try to uh, simplify it even further, you start getting to, uh, into more creative types of problem solving. So... Um, my conclusion was um, that you probably don't have to have a tarp. I hate to say that, but that would be my fourth item. So uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and skip the tarp. Uh, the tarp can be used year-round, so that's the cool part about that. Now, if it was just summertime um, for this particular bug-out event, and by the way, this particular going in the woods for three days... Uh, it's just for three days. It's not like a whole week or a month, but uh, for just three days What would you really just take with you and it could be anything, you know, it could be a, a rifle. It could be food. It could be um, It could be anything so But it has to be an individual item and so uh, the tarp thing was was like Probably the most ideal uh, as a fourth item if I could pick a fourth but if it was summertime and it was in a temperate area and there was definitely a lot of good trees because we are going into a wooded area. I think that maybe a completely enclosed hammock system, a hammock shelter, would probably be uh, what I would pick for just the summertime. But overall, a tarp. So getting back to what I would pick, though, for the top three, um, I had to uh, go ahead and exclude the cording. So that knocks out the other two items on the top three. Um, you know, in terms of what may, makes up the the five C's or survival. So you pretty much know what's left. I, I had to stick with it. I tried to deviate, but I think that having a fire and having a blade and having a container are uh, really are pretty much the key right there the, to give you the best uh, chance of survival. In terms of shelter, you could make a debris shelter for just to survive three days. Uh, you, you, don't, you don't have to eat in three days to survive and live. You'd be very uncomfortable and probably cranky, but you wouldn't die. Uh, but you could die if you didn't have water. So having a container and a means to boil the water so you wouldn't get sick, a uh, means to make fire uh, for protection and also heat or to cook if you found food. So I think um, a Bic lighter. Uh, I'd probably go with the standard size Bic lighter. And then I would have something like a, maybe a clean canteen 40 ounce a uh, stainless steel canteen or a water bottle. Uh, that definitely a stainless steel would be my preferred container. Um, and then lastly, my blade. I'd, I'd go with the nice mid-size, uh, pretty pretty decent stout thick blade. Uh, you know, maybe on the lower end or a budget knife, something maybe like a serrated SCHF uh, 36. Uh, I know that some people would probably say, "Well, about a Mora knife or a." A Baco knife, uh, you know, that's cool too. Uh, I just, I was just kind of thinking out loud though, you know, in terms of being able to do a little chopping and, and maybe a little more hardcore batoning too. So yeah, I mean, if I could have a backup knife, sure, I'd take a Baco or a Mora knife. But uh, just if you had to just pick one, I think something that had a four and a half to six inch blade that was pretty stout, you know, getting close to that, uh, you know, Two tenths of an inch width up to a quarter of an inch width in, in blade stock, uh, and maybe like a, between a 1070 to a 1095 range, something in there, a high carbon steel. Uh, unless you were right on the freaking ocean or something, then obviously go with a stainless steel. But uh, if we're just talking three days, who cares if the knife starts rusting? You know what I'm saying? This is just a three day bug out event in the woods. So, so that's what I came down with uh, a blade, fire starter and a container uh it's it's a it's a basic exercise here but uh but I, I kept on trying to uh to figure out how i would get my needs met and uh 
And I just figured out, you know, a debris shelter would work. You don't have to eat. You need some water. You need, it means, it means the, you know, the purify the water. And uh, you need to have a fire, you know, to do that. So I think sometimes, you know, survival and preparation is just all about deduction and breaking things down into simpler thoughts and simpler tasks. And it's just rationalizing what you need and when you need it and how you need it and uh, what form factor you would need it in. So uh, I think there we go, you know. You could carry the knife on your belt. You could uh, carry the, the fire starter in a pocket, preferably a zippered pocket or a button pocket so it won't come out easily. And uh, the container could be on your belt as well or it could be on a cross draw. You can make, even rig up um, some type of, uh, uh, of, a, of a cross draw. Uh, and that goes to cording, you know. You couldn't have cording but, uh, in these top three but because uh, we don't have enough options but maybe a vine or there's a lot of natural made products in the woods that you could make some type of cording to help lash a shelter or uh, even create that sling for that canteen if not you can just carry it you know uh, and uh, you know even put it in your pocket if you had to if you have big enough pockets uh, but most likely you could just have one hand carrying the canteen and maybe one hand carrying a, a walking stick just for safety and I don't really see a problem with that. So with that, there you that's going to be my wrap-up, my top three things for a bug-out event. If I could only pick three things, uh, I'd be interested to hear of what you would pick and, uh, and why. Thanks for watching.